In this lesson, we'll be looking at applying hatch patterns in AutoCAD. A hatch pattern is a pattern applied to an enclosed area, such as a circle or a closed polyline. It's often used to identify the material composition of an object. So I will start by drawing an enclosed area. I'll use the polyline command to create some line segments. Then type C to close. Now the boundary hatch icon on the draw toolbar is down towards the bottom. We can't see it right now, so I'm going to take the draw toolbar and dock it up at the top of the drawing. Now we can see the boundary hatch icon. Instead of using this icon, I can type B hatch. The alias for B hatch is BH. Press enter and it opens the boundary hatch dialog box. Now there's a number of different settings here. For now, just to demonstrate, I'm going to click on the pick points button. You see, I'm prompted to pick an internal point. So I will left click anywhere inside this closed polyline. Now I'm going to press enter because I don't have any other areas to pick. This brings us back to the dialog box. Here we see the pattern that will be applied to the selected area. I will click on the preview button. And there we see the pattern as it will look if we choose to accept it. We are prompted to either press escape to return to the dialog box or right click to accept the hatch. So I'll press escape. We can assign a different pattern by selecting this down arrow. At the top of the list we have different ANSI patterns. That stands for the American National Standards Institute. ANSI 31 is typically used to represent cast iron or steel. I'll go ahead and select that. You see the pattern displayed here. You can also select the pattern by choosing the ellipses. As I had said earlier, different patterns are used to correspond to different materials. The patterns are divided among these different tabs. But for now, I will press cancel. We will now look at the preview with the ANSI 31 pattern. And you see the scaling looks a little tight. So I'll press escape and change the scale to 2. I can also rotate the pattern by applying a different angle. I'll switch from 0 to 30. So let's take a look at what that looks like. I'll accept the hatch by right clicking or press enter. Now I'll undo that and add a few other closed shapes. For instance, I'll choose an ellipse. I'm prompted for an axis endpoint. So I'll select the point and then another endpoint. Finally, I'll select the distance to the other axis. Next, I'll create a polygon. I will create a six-sided shape. So, type six and press enter. Then, I'll select the center point in the drawing area. Now there are two different ways of creating polygons, inscribed or circumscribed. I'll accept the default, which is inscribed. So press enter, and then specify a radius. So I've created essentially two islands. This could represent two different holes in a plate. Let's say we wanted to hatch the pattern of the closed polyline, but not inside these two other shapes. So I'll start the B hatch command. Switch the pattern to ANSI 31 and make the scale 2. Select pick points and click inside the closed polyline, but not inside the two islands. Then press enter 
and Preview. We get the expected result. Right click to accept. This completes the tutorial on using the Boundary Hatch command in AutoCAD.